Hello, hello, boys and girls. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's Rob and Robert. And we're so happy to be here with you this morning for our children's time together. Before we go on, I would love to say the Children's Creed with you like we do every Sunday. So boys and girls, Robert, if you will repeat after me. I believe in God above. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe the Spirit too. I believe the Spirit too. Comes to teach me what to do. Comes to teach me what to do. God be in my head. God be in my head. God be in my heart. God be in my heart. God be in my whole life. God be in my whole life. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you, Robert. And boys and girls, I have a story that I'd like to share with you that happened Oh, 21 years ago in the year 1999. None of you were alive then, and that's okay. Well, in the year 1999, that summer, I was working in my very first professional musical theater show. It was really exciting for me. And one night, me and a couple people from the cast went out for dinner at a restaurant in town. This was in uh, Victoria, British Columbia, where I grew up. And as the evening was going on, uh, a couple in the table uh, next to us um, struck up a conversation with us, which we thought was, you know, a little strange, but they were a couple nice guys. So we didn't think too much of it, and we, we chatted sort of on and off over the course of our evening. And they left and said goodbye, and a little while later, while we were settling up our bill, the server brought our check over and let us know that those two men had paid for our entire table's meal. We were gobsmacked. We were totally surprised. We had no idea that that was going to happen. And the server told us that these gentlemen did it because they recognized that we were young people just starting out in life and that sometimes uh, money can be a little tight when you're in that kind of situation. And they really just wanted to help support and celebrate us and what we were doing. We didn't do anything to earn that gift. It was really freely given. And all they asked was that in the future, when we had the opportunity to share that kind of money, that we paid it forward somehow. That next time we were in a restaurant and we saw some young people who were just starting out, we maybe made an effort to get to know them and to help them out with their meal that night. And I. That story has just always stuck with me, that, that act of, of kindness and generosity, and I've never forgotten it. Robert, I wonder if you've ever received a gift that you've loved so much that you just wanted to share it with other people. Absolutely. As, as a kid, I was given the gift of music, like through mm. piano lessons and organ lessons and voice lessons and all, the, and all this stuff. And, and, and the teachers all loved what they were doing so much to, to share their gifts with me that now all I want to do is share my gifts with other people mm -hmm. and hopefully help them uh, enjoy music as much as I do. Absolutely. You know, when I was in elementary school, boys and girls, when I was in your age, I wasn't the best student. But what I was good at and what I loved was music. And I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't had a really active music program in my school. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love singing and love performing still to this day and why I want to support arts in the schools because you never know who you're reaching. Mm -hmm. Well now, boys and girls, I have another question for you. And it might seem like it's not connected to what we've just been talking about, but I promise you it is. Have you ever set up a series of dominoes or books so that they, they all hit each other and fall over? Yeah? Have you? Yeah, I thought so. Robert, have you ever done that? Of course. Yeah. Yes. Now, boys and girls, what has to happen once you set it up in order for the dominoes to start falling? Shout it out for me. Yeah? Robert, tell us what it is. Someone needs to give it a starting action, like by pushing the first one and it sets the rest off in sequence. Exactly, exactly. Well, boys and girls, I'm going to invite you now, with your parents' permission, of course, to go get some books, or if you have dominoes, to grab those and to set them up so that we can knock them over together. And if you're gonna do that, now is the time to pause this video and go make that happen. And once you're all set and ready to go, you can come back. So we'll be here in a couple seconds when you're ready. Boys and girls, you see that Robert and I have set up a series of hymnals that we are gonna use like dominoes. And that dominoes, like we said, need a beginning action, a push that causes other actions to happen. 
When one action leads to another and another, we call this a chain reaction. We can push just one domino, or hymnal in this case, which pushes the next one, which pushes the next one, and so on, forming actions that are linked together like a chain. So go ahead and, and push yours over now if you haven't already. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Well, our Bible story today comes from a book called The First Letter of John. Now have a look at the picture that's on your screen right now and read the words there with me. We love because God first loved us. This letter is trying to remind us that love is a powerful chain reaction. When someone loves and cares for us, we learn how to love too. And then our love grows when we share it with others. And then they share the love that they've received from us, and the love keeps going like a chain reaction, just like the dominoes. Now I wonder, children, how, how, do, how does the love keep on going and growing whenever we share it? And who started the first push that set love in motion? Well, our reading from today gives us a clue. We love because God first loved us. God set the chain reaction of love going by giving us love as a gift. And it's not something we had to earn. It's not a gift we had to work for. But that gift was freely given. God set the chain reaction of love going by giving us love as a gift. Because God loves us, we become part of the chain reaction, keeping and growing God's love in the world. Boys and girls, I invite you to pray with me. Dear God, thank you for loving us and starting the chain reaction of love. Show us how to keep your love going until every person knows you love and care about them. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Now, Robert, I wonder if there's a song we might be able to sing that asks us to listen to what God is teaching us and that love is the, the greatest lesson, the greatest teaching that God has ever given us. Absolutely. The song uh, that we sung once before called Listen, Listen to God. Mm -hmm. And then we finish off by saying love like God and God teaches us that love is the way. Terrific. Well, boys and girls, the music and the words are going to come up on your screen. And so I hope you'll sing along with us. Robert, take it away. Boys and girls, that is our time together. Uh, but before we go, I would love to say the Lord's Prayer with you. The words are going to come up on the screen, and I hope you'll say along with me and Robert. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, boys and girls, whether it's in person or online. I look forward to seeing you really soon. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless. Bye. Bye.